Phase diagrams like the one I'm sketching here show the conditions for equilibrium between phases, the liquid phase and the gas phase in this example. You can create phase diagrams using experimental data. You measure the boiling temperature at different pressures, for example, and that gives you the points on this line. But you can also create them from theory using equation 17.4 which is called the Klapiron equation. This equation is also useful for calculating the melting or boiling temperature at different pressures, as in worked example 17.2. Let's have a look at the Klapiron equation. T is the transition temperature. It could be the boiling temperature, the melting temperature, or the sublimation temperature, depending on the phase change involved. dP by dt gives the rate of change of pressure with changing temperature. It's the gradient of the curve in the PT graph. Delta H is the enthalpy change that accompanies the transition. And delta VM is the change in molar volume between the two phases at the transition. You can see in box 17.2 how the Clapeyron equation is derived. It's always useful to understand how an equation is derived because it helps you to understand the way the equation works and it makes it easier to remember the equation. The starting point for deriving this equation is dGm equals Vm dP minus Sm dt where dGm is a small change in the molar Gibbs energy. You can see in the box where this equation comes from. Now we can write an equation like this for each of the two phases, call them phase 1 and 2, where 1 might be the liquid and 2 might be the gas. And the equations have the same form and they're written here. But we're interested in the situation at equilibrium between the two phases, which is shown by the line between the phases in the phase diagram. And at equilibrium, dGm for phase 1 and dGm for phase 2 are equal. And so we can put these two expressions equal to each other and get this longer expression here. Now we can say that Vm1 minus Vm2 is delta V because this is the difference in the molar volume between the two phases. Similarly, Sm1 minus Sm2 is delta S because it is the difference in the molar entropy between the two phases. So, putting in delta V and delta S and doing some tidying up, we get dP delta Vm equals dT delta Sm. And that rearranges to dP by dT equals delta Sm divided by delta Vm. Finally, we use the expression delta S equals delta H over T to substitute for delta S and we get the Clapeyron equation. Have a look at box 17.2 for more details but that's the outline.